Kenobi's Corner, Kenobi's Corner, Kenobi's Corner. You never see Biodome? I've watched Biodome, but like 20 years ago? When did that movie come out? Yeah, about 20 years ago. I watched it the year it came out. So it's been a hell of a long time since I watched Biodome. When you were 14 years old. I mean, it's not like my favorite movie ever. Like, apparently it is yours, so. It's not my favorite movie ever, but it is up there amongst the faves. Ugh. I don't know why. It's just it just feels right, you know. <laughs> I don't think there's anything about that movie that should feel right. I disagree. What feels right about it? Tenacious D. Uh. Okay. Mm, a very young Tenacious D. <laughs> oh, and Kylie <laughs> Minogue. Kylie Minogue is in there. Uh. Okay. Before she couldn't get out of anybody's head. I think you still don't know that song. Uh uh-uh. uh. I mean, I probably if I heard it, I'm sure I would recognize it. Like hundred percent sure I would recognize it. I'm, I'm you're gonna recognize it right now. Yeah. Oh yes, I recognize it now. <laughs> now that song's gonna be stuck mm. in my head. Yeah, that's what you get. Do you feel the warmth of this flame? Did you just like put on the log or what? Did I put on the log? Yes, I sure did. You just like Yule log that thing or what? Not Yule log. Well, I don't know. But fireplace, John. It's romantical. <sighs> romantical? <laughs> so you want the podcast to be romantical? Is that what you're saying? As we slowly drip sweet nothings into everybody's ears on this valentine's day eve oh my god (laughs) welcome to kenobi's corner it's gonna get hot everybody we got some hot fresh news (laughs) about comics video games i couldn't even get through the whole thing Uh, and everything interesting we find in between is that your sexy voice? Is that what you're trying to do? It was trying to be, but I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well, that was Eric. I am Jonathan. Yes, and welcome again. I'll turn off this fireplace. It's too loud and it's too hot in here. <laughs> it was making the room hot. Is that it what was, was the room, going on? It was making the room red hot. Dude. Um, welcome, everybody. <laughs> For real, though, Kenobi's Corner, here we are, back again. Step in, direct in. Let's begin. <laughs> sounds good. Yep. Sounds good. Do you um, want to tell the people what we're about? Uh, yeah, uh, like I was saying before, uh, dur- during the flaming goodness, <laughs> uh, we're, we're going to talk to you about some good uh, movies, comic book, video game, um, interesting news that has happened this past week. And damn it, wasn't it a great week for trailers? I guess. Uh, so, well, and then Super Bowl happened also. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> in between all the trailers, I guess, there was yeah. something going on <laughs> with the ball and sports and teams that I don't like. Uh, yep. <laughs> the Patriots but, of New England have yet again taken another trophy home. And uh, uh, that's that's not what we're here to talk about. No, we are not that kind of podcast. Nope. But for some reason, it looks like you've been making out with a pixie or something. Oh, damn it. Still <laughs> with the glitter? <laughs> yes. <Ugh. laughs> I swear. All right, glitter lips. <laughs> yeah. Let's get this going. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you decorate one card and <laughs> for somebody at your desk, <laughs> and you're left with all the remnants for months and months <laughs> on end. What kind of card was that? I don't know. Uh, was, I don't know what it was. All right. It happened. But, it's okay. It's over. Oh, you know what? It was be that all right. other desk that, that's there, and it has all that... All of our decoration stuff on it. Sure, it blame like, it on the desk. It had like Mario Kart stuff. It had glitter stuff. <laughs> well, and, yeah, fun at work. That's what happens. Yeah, anyway, yeah. let's move on. Let's do this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, there were so much um, trailers. Tra- so many trailers, man. <laughs> it's just nuts. Um, Ghost in the Shell, dude. Guardians of the Galaxy, dude. Transformers. Dude. Stranger Things? Stranger Things? Yeah. Life? Life, dude. Okay, that one that one seems crazy, man. Like, I don't What? It, it just looks crazy. Dude, you know, okay, so watch. That's gonna be the first one we talk about now. Okay. 
because you brought it up. Um, I did mention it, yes. I really think it's going to be like a new Aliens. Like, it really feels like a new, modern, extreme, crazy to the max Aliens. I don't think it's going to be a trilogy, though. I think it's going to be a one and done. I mean, I really hope it's a one and done. I hope they get out a good story. Like, just tell us what you want to tell us. Make it good. And then that's it. I'm totally fine with that. But even with Alien Covenant coming out, I feel like Alien Covenant is only trying to recapture like what the feel was of the first two Alien movies. Yeah. And this feels like it's a cool new original idea mm-hmm. actually capturing what the first Aliens should have been about. Yeah, I felt like but, it was like a like an Aliens but kind of like Martian feel. Yeah. Well, like like just the way how everything looked. I don't looked. know about Martian. I just like the Martian. I just wanted to bring you it do, up again. Yeah, <laughs> all the time. That's all you ever want to do. Dude, but the no, map no. checks out. Ah, uh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Um, did you ever play uh... Isolation? No. Um, Dead Space. Uh, no. The first one. <laughs> did you, did you, play, you played the first Dead Space, Dude, right? That's you, the one you finished. That's the, the, no, one and two I finished. Three is the one I haven't gotten yeah, I know, yet. the one that you still have of my copy. Four that's years. Been like, yes, exactly. Two months later, I still have your yep. Dead Space 3 copy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, well, the first one, though, because they're on the... Like, that one's way more extreme. Yeah. Right, like there's a lot, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of aliens. Yeah, like, everybody gets killed. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody gets Scottish kilts. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but uh, dude, like that, it just kind of reminds me of that same feel where they're out in space. They're not on a planet. Like it's they're they're in the middle of nowhere because they're in space. They're isolated to this thing. And I don't know, maybe that's what alien isol, isol- not isolation. I'm thinking of the video game now. Resurrection. Resurrection. Yes. Yeah. Like maybe that's I don't know because it seems like that one's going to be that same way too, right? Um, it was kind of. They're a little more secluded. Yeah. A little more you can't just run away. Yeah. I mean, it was the same with the other movies, but in those they were like in a facility on the ground, like this. And I don't know, man. This even brings it more into realism, where it looks kind of like uh, the International Space Station. Yeah, that's super close to home. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, but it just it just looks like it could. It's like our space not a weird or not not an exaggerated outside yeah like foreign space or foreign thing that we have no idea what it's actually gonna look like yeah hundreds of years from now maybe even 50 years from now this feels like it could be a couple of years from now yeah yeah And and i think that's maybe something that the original aliens was was like, hey, you know what? It, it's yes, it's in the future, and it's so kind of like passe. Like we we've been to space so many times. Look how grimy it is. Like it's yeah. just dirty <laughs> space. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But now this is like, no, this is legit. Everything's clean up here. Yeah. Except we found this shit, and it's for real. And everybody, watch your asses. Yeah, dude, it looks because they're raping everybody out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bedroom, bed, in- bed, bed intruder. <laughs> <laughs> Space right. intruder style. All right, <laughs> dude. I don't know. I, I, I'm excited for that movie, man. It's it's. Pff, I know it's going to be scary. It'll probably give me nightmares for weeks, but I'm I'm excited for that. Um, I think I'm more and more excited for Ghost in the Shell. The, the more I see it, like yeah, uh, it's it's looking. I I don't know. I, I think I'm setting myself up for it, but I I, I don't know. What do you think? Do you, you I don't saw- know, man. Like, the the trailer looks cool. I mean, they've done a good job on all these trailers. I, from what I can tell, they'll, they'll be nice. It'll be a good movie. Who knows how it's actually going to be? I mean, we'll have to wait and see. Have you watched the movie yet? No, I haven't original? watched it. I haven't watched it yet. It comes out in May, so I, I have it. Thank you again. Yeah, you, you keep I, saying I just, that. You know, I still have time. Dude. All right. We just talked about I marathon th- two shows yesterday. Okay, all right, we'll get to that in a okay, minute. But that's th- all right. But yes, I'm, I'm working to it. All right, maybe this weekend. I'm not too sure. Not maybe. making any promises. Maybe. Got to go to Bed Bath and Beyond. Maybe Home Depot. Might not have enough time. Not too sure. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it's gonna happen. It will happen. Um, but everything looks like legit. Like it's it's gonna be an, a, a pretty spot on adaptation you so. think tra- the trailer looks good do you yeah I-, I think so i had a couple of different scenes right like definitely a lot more action a lot more stuff where they it looks like they've worked on the graphics now or they've had some time to really refine all the uh special effects yeah so i, I like that man i thought it was mm-hmm. pretty cool what'd you think of um 
speaking of refining special effects and putting more scenes in, Logan, they had a like an Amazing Grace trailer. Uh, did you see it? The one that I like took the time to go ahead and just like get out of the room for a minute and. <laughs> <laughs> That trailer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, along with the trailer, they also dropped like one of the scenes. Um, I think it's uh, what was the scene called? I think it was like you know the drill, and it was basically Logan and some dude that he's hanging out with. We don't know that guy's name, but we probably do. They probably say it at the very beginning, but I forgot it. Uh, <laughs> uh, they're met in a field with a bunch of guys. Uh, just some good old boys hanging out in a pickup truck asking like what's going on what's happening who is this guy and and who's this guy logan they don't say his name but they're just wondering who wolverine is and uh they tell him well you know the drill you're not supposed to be here let's do this and then logan starts kicking ass Hmm. and then that's it it was real quick it was like 30 seconds but like no blood drawn just just like a a a nice little scene and uh I don't know. I'm I'm trying not to watch any of these scenes more and more, but man, like everything that I've been hearing about it from the people that have been slowly been watching like the first 40 minutes of the film and I've been seeing like other like little tweets about it and stuff, like just randomly other other critics that have been watching it have been like, "Dude, yeah. this first third of the film is gonna is freaking amazing and it definitely leans heavy on the R and the R rating and it's it's just going to be good." So I'm excited about it. Mm-hmm. I know, John, you, you, you're you just, you know, SMHing over there so hard. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you don't enjoy it. I'm, I'm sorry. Just the, the, the hate just rolls off. You no, nah, man, I don't, I don't hate, I can't hate something that I haven't seen so far. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's no way I can hate it because I don't know what it's going to be like. But like just, the, the way you are about this, I feel like you're just like one of those people that were super against ghostbusters because it was all female like you're one of those people no in fact I was one of the pe- <laughs> if you go back to that episode yeah. i was one of the people defending that. i know i know but, you, but the way you are to logan is the way i, I that's just that's just how but, it seems but that's what i mean like i'm not i'm not hating i'm i don't hate it i'm telling you it's impossible for me for me to hate something that i haven't even seen that's true that's i just true. don't have any faith that it's going to be good okay and if they prove me wrong so be it man like i'll be the first to admit prove that i'm completely wrong, wrong. But come on, Logan, do it. They better. Okay, we'll see what happens. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the other stuff we got <laughs> we got on the docket today. Okay. Uh, Guardians Dude, of the Galaxy, man. That was I was about to say like that was probably my favorite one to come uh, out no. of the thing. Oh. You know, just it was, the, the music of it, just the Dude. scenes, the reveal of uh, Aisha. Yes. You know, just everything about that looks like, amazing. Dude, and the fact that it's like the first thing that you get. It's like mm-hmm. like brand new scene that we haven't seen at all before. Like for a character they haven't really shown. Yeah. Period. Oh. You've seen the pop figure. You know, they, they released that image. You know, um, so that, you know, so you kind of get, well, it's really hard to tell because all the pops look the same. Yeah. They're going to get a bubble <laughs> head. So you really can't get that definition no, like off the of them. Bubbly <laughs> eyes. <laughs> big bubbly eyes. Uh, all one color. No, um, <laughs> they look. It looks cool, man. And oh, that that line. I think. Damn it, they just Rocket and and Groot still like just have that. They're gonna steal like the scenes and everything. But man, everybody has like such great lines. It's hard to say Dude. like who who's gonna be the breakout character. But just how they close the trailer and how they're like. <laughs> He said, "Welcome to the freaking Guardians of the Galaxy," and he didn't say "freaking." <laughs> freaking, dude. Even, before, even after that, dude, with like the uh, like the piece of debris falling on Mantis, <laughs> look out! <laughs> it's like, oh, I tried, I tried guys. to order. I tried to order. <laughs> Damn it, man! It's so good. Yeah. It, it looks like, dude. And I mean, who knows? At this point. Because, I mean, James Gunn has come out and said it before, that mm-hmm. he's trying to show as very as little as possible so that everything is still a mystery. And yeah. even with all the stuff we got, like, dude, that doesn't tell you anything about what the hell is going on. Like, there's just a bunch of random stuff that, I mean, anything could be happening happening in between these scenes. And I don't feel they've given away any spoilers in any of the trailers so far. No, not at all. You know, so, like, we knew that Aisha was coming. We knew that she was going to be a character in this. And, man, like, it's so freaking good, dude. 
I, I'm super excited about that movie. Yeah. Um, I don't think that. I don't think it's a mystery that it's going to be a, a a hit. I I don't see how this could. And I'm, I'm I hope I don't have to eat my words later because <laughs> that would be <laughs> terrible. I don't see how this could be bad. Like I, I just don't see like the. There were so many people that really enjoyed the first one, right? And it looks like they just continued with the same kind of feel, continued with that yeah. same kind of, and and it, and they just expanded on that story a little bit. Man, like I'm just I'm really excited to see where they go, and it's right around the corner. Yeah, it's a dude. couple months away. So yeah, not that far at all, dude. Not, I really, oh man, I'm super excited. Yeah, but yeah, like you said, man, they haven't if they haven't disappointed yet. They only have one movie under the belt, but I think it's easier with that side of things like with the marvel studios like officially the under disney marvel studios Mm -hmm. they haven't had like a miss you know yeah where i think on the other side on the fox end i mean we got x-men origins wolverine with mouthless deadpool (laughs) and we got you know for me like i know you liked it a little bit more but the second wolverine movie was just what the wolverine Mm -hmm. and i mean we got really terrible silver samurai yeah and uh, Viper was yeah, not yeah. great. Like, I don't know. know I so. think it was just shot better, and I think just overall the well, yeah. The, the, I mean, it the, felt yeah. like it had a lot bigger budget, mm-hmm. you know. And I'm not going to say that it didn't, but I I didn't think still it was a good story yeah. and, and good and, and like well done. I guess like well executed. It just didn't mm-hmm. feel like it was at all. But I mean, I think that's still I, you good. know, hey, it's already done. Like I said. We'll see what happens. Show me that you can do something different, and I'll be the first I think one to eat my better. words. I think with the, with the Wolverine series, they were getting better. Like, Origins was terrible. Wolverine was, like, definitely step up from Origins. And this last one is going to be like, bam, we're going out on a high note. Those are just my thoughts. I mean, never know. We'll see. You never know. We'll see. That's we'll just true. see what happens. They but a movie school? that I'm not looking forward to oh. at all, I huh? think. Transformers. <laughs> at all? I don't think so, man. Like... Really, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me one through two through four. <laughs> uh, that's still on me, actually. All of this is on me. Um, I'll probably watch it, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be in the theater to to see it. My really, week, opening weekend. I think it's the only way to watch a Transformers movie. I feel like I'm just wasting it. That's yeah, like we have so much other stuff to watch. I'll probably go see John Wick too. See, but that's another, that's another thing is like I go to the movies way more than you go to the movies. Yeah, that's true. Like you don't, I don't know if you just don't enjoy it because you use this excuse of I don't have time ever. Mm. But if you really liked it that much, I think you'd make some time to go do it. You're a monster. I'm a monster. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, anyway. Yeah. But, no. I would. I would. I mean, no. It's cool. I mean, I, I know. I understand. You got parental duties to think of first and do hey so uh, if, we, if we have the opportunity and if in it if it's a good double feature the drive-in we'll check it out i definitely right. suggest it you know hit, hit the drive-in in your your local area if you can you know uh, and especially if you have kids that's it's always good because you know keep that noise you know. to yourself <laughs> <laughs> but yeah man but, like uh, I, I really uh man Seeing Transformers on the big screen, seeing it like really huge in front of your face, I think is half the fun of those movies. Yeah. You know, like I don't think they're great movies and I, I really don't think they're good movies. Not not that they're not good. They're not they're not they don't they don't really have a whole lot of value other than eye candy for a couple of hours. And Michael Bay tries to always make it extra eye candy by trying to get women who are considered your stereotypical like beautiful women even though i don't think all of them have been that way it's my personal opinion i'm not gonna mention who or what but (laughs) (laughs) i'm not gonna mention who or what women i was thinking about (laughs) okay (laughs) but i mean like you know he i think it's just a bunch of explosions it's a bunch of just crazy action sequences that are going to be on there for a good two hours of screen time and i am i'm willing to watch that man i'm willing to put that in like um gross Damn it, man! Like, <laughs> I mean, put it I, back I don't in know. the box, John. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I would do like the IMAX 3D version of this movie, but I feel like going to see it in a nice theater is really the way to go. Yeah, and I I will probably end up doing that just because it's it's that kind of movie. Yeah, yeah, I get it. for movie going experiences. Yeah, I guess you have to, right? Like. 
if you really just want to get away from it and and just turn your mind off for two hours. Yeah, and just watch like crazy, ridiculous stuff happen because the plot's not going to make any sense. No, not at <laughs> all. <laughs> yeah, and it's not going to have like a, a life changing story where all of a sudden it's going to make you a different person as you leave that movie. Maybe it will. What if that happens? Man, dude. I'd be upset with you, John. <laughs> like, oh. That now so that I transform at a Transformers movie? <laughs> Is that what you mean? <laughs> yeah. Just come back as a, as a beautiful butterfly. As a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, dude, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I really like it. I like what that trailer showed me, and I'll, I'm going to go watch it. Anyway, <laughs> just to throw it out there. Just throw it out there. I know this isn't that show. We're talking about these trailers, but that trailer was cool. Okay. I enjoyed it. Okay. Um, moving to the small tube, yeah. Stranger Things season two, Dude. super small trailer that came out. Yeah, uh, small tube, small trailer. Uh, <laughs> uh, but damn it. it, it said so much with the little bit that it had. And these guys, the Duffer Brothers, have really nailed it. Like they have, they know how to really bait our the audience and really kind of just bring everybody in to be super interested on on just a little bit that they've given in the trailer you know it was just done super well like yeah damn it it's, I'm, I'm just so I, I just want it to happen so bad and it's already it's only 10 months away 10 yeah. freaking months john yeah well dude with all the stuff like that was coming out all the trailers that happened i mean i, I had to you know i have a few friends who like all this kind of stuff uh and I don't think I got as many responses to anything until that one aired. Yeah. You know, because all the stuff was coming out. The Guardians of the Galaxy one was awesome. Everyone, you know, it seems like everybody in, liked that and enjoyed that. But, dude, when they dropped the, the Stranger Things Season 2 one, like, my phone blew up. What? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think dude. I texted you. I was like, Halloween? Yeah. Like, that was the only thing I said. <laughs> yeah. But, dude, I mean, like, everybody did. Like, everyone was like, What? I think I went on and immediately watched that one like three times repeatedly over and over again. But I don't know. What do you think, man? What do you think of that trailer? I thought it was pretty awesome, man. Like, um, really just started off. It, you first get your a glimpse that Eleven is back. She's alive. Yeah. You know, still alive, still kicking. Yeah. Um, we get the response of what's happening with Will now that he's back. He's still kind of having visions he's still you know things are looking strange right pun intended yes Uh, (laughs) (laughs) um, but it still doesn't tell us a whole lot of the story of like what's happening what's next like that's cool man where where is it going like yeah man 30 seconds and the the whole scheme of things it's like freaking if each episode each episode was an hour right yeah i believe So, so 30 seconds from a nine-hour sh- movie, pretty much. Oh, no, 12. Man. 12 episodes a season, isn't no, it? No, it's nine. Because it was eight episodes last the first season. Okay. Nine this next season. Damn it, I can't remember. Because I know it had the name the name thing. I can't remember mm-hmm. how many it was. Y- you are probably correct. Yes, I am correct. Okay, well. I Throw it say, down, John. You want to see, you look. No, I'm not looking, dude. I'm, I'm having full confidence in you. Full so if, confidence. If this is incorrect if information. If I'm incorrect, John. This is on you this week. It is all on me. <laughs> but I'm, Tweet us at Kenobi's I'm Corner. I'm like 95. <laughs> I'm like 95% sure. <laughs> That's at Kenobi's Corner on yeah. Twitter. <laughs> just, just tell me directly. Drop it in the comments. SoundCloud.com yeah. slash Kenobi's Dash Corner. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Eric Strong. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to look for it all week. <laughs> Eric's dozen nine episodes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, man, uh, yeah, oh, it's but, freaking cool. Okay, so I, okay, I got to so, talk about it. Do you think that monster? Do you think it's like him seeing it that's sketching it out, or do you think it's like a manifestation of his sketch or what's going on in Will's mind? Yeah, I think it's still like well, because it could go either way. Like I don't know if like he's visualizing this. And because of his experience with the upside down, what he's visualizing uh, comes to life. Or is it, you know, his experience in the upside down ha- had some kind of like, like he's having some adverse effects still and he's trying to sketch that out and just trying to remember things that he saw and like yeah. now he's seeing that come to life. I don't know. Or in his mind. Uh, or, you know, maybe he just, he has a bunch of problems, man. And, it does. Kind of deal. So he does have much problems. 
Yeah. I really uh, hope that monster's real, though, just because I think it would be crazy to like right. see something like that cause havoc. But yeah, that's ridiculous. Like, it, it was be, pretty it damn be awesome. nuts. Like, I think... It, and because there's so many theories of, like, how's it, how's it going to happen or, or what's going to be happening or where there's... Where does this monster kind of like live and breathe? Like, is it is it real? Is it not real? Is he only dreaming it? Uh, yeah. But what? But what if it's the other way? What if it's he's still in the upside? Like he's taken back into the upside down, and he's yeah. now seeing this monster like coming over the ridge or something in the upside down. <sighs> what, dude? I mean, anything, dude. Anything they give like, us. Really? Uh, like, uh, I just hope they're not. They're not like that's the entire time that we're gonna see that monster. You know, like that's. You maybe it's such a quick dream sequence, and that's it. That's everything, mm-hmm. and that's all we're gonna get of it. So I really hope that's not the case, and they have like a longer extended scene with this thing. But I mean, either way, man, I'm the first season was so good. I almost don't want to get my expectations up too high for the second one. So I'm trying to be cautious, I'm not trying to overdo it for myself. Yeah, I mean, it's really hard Just not relax to. Relax a little. We have so much time until it comes out, man. I know it's so it's a long way away. Yeah, but we'll make it. We'll get through it. Eventually, we'll be Eventually there. Eventually, we will be there. Heck yeah. Sooner or later. Um, what else you got? I think, well, I mean, with that, uh, there was a great article in Entertainment Weekly that oh, yeah. showed a great um, conversation with the Duffer Brothers about the expectations of of the new season, what's going to be happening. Not not in full detail, but kind of like giving us like little hits and tidbits. But you get to see some great pics of the kids and how they've grown up and... Millie Bobby Brown has a lot of hair. She's definitely <laughs> curly suing it up. Uh, you know, and I wonder if these, that's how it's going to be for the show. I don't know. She's got like a just some hair like going on. I don't think that's how her hair normally is. Mm. So I'm wondering if it if they did it for the show. Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, don't know. speculation, speculation, hair speculation. Um, but I don't know. It should be good. But if if you want to read the article. Uh, get a little bit more detail. I don't want to spoil it too much, so I'll, we'll link it in the description. Actually, we'll link to Entertainment Weekly in the description, but to read the article, you got to buy this month's weekly? Entertainment this, Weekly. This, this is the weekly. Is it this week's? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Yeah, Whichever one February features. February 9th, so okay. it's this week. Yeah, this, this past week's, week. This past week's Entertainment Weekly. So. Mm-hmm. so that should be good. Golly, I can't wait. It's too far. I know, right? Too far. Um, also, while we're talking about Logan, there was another black and white trailer that dropped today for Logan. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. It's called Sunseeker. And it's just basically him doing side jobs. Pausing kinda... this. We're watching it right now. Okay. Well, I mean, the trailer well... doesn't give a whole lot <laughs> as far as story, but I mean, it, it, it definitely tells you like what he's doing. Uh, if you put it in perspective mm. of like what the description of the movie is. Uh, it looks like he's looking for a boat, and he's just trying to get some information on how he can buy the boat. Uh, and uh, basically, he's like, as a retirement gift, maybe it's for Professor X. Maybe he's trying to get him out to sea. I don't know. Who I, knows? Who knows? We they don't really know. tell, say anything about anything. No. Nope. I mean, it was it was it's all right. I mean, I guess it's like just another clip they're dropping from the movie, but yeah. And who knows? Maybe maybe the clips aren't even really included in the movie. Maybe they're just promotional scenes. You right. know, um, it's becoming that, like a popular thing nowadays, so. right? I think that's yeah. kind of cool, giving us some st- some bits of story, but really not into the main continuity of the movie. I right. think it's kind of cool. Yeah, heck yeah. Um, but still interesting, man. That one's only a few weeks away too, so I'm excited to see that. Uh, John is still on the fence. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm gonna go watch it. Actually, we've been talking lately about getting a group together to go watch it. And I know, and I, I didn't want to say anything at first because I know you're going to be out of town. I will be. And you're going to miss out on it, but. Dude, that whole week, I'm not coming back till Sunday. You're ridiculous. Like, I'm, I'm gone on Wednesday, coming back Sunday. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. That happens. We'll, we'll have to do like a quick show or something. I don't know what we'll do. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll just invite Cody again. Yeah, maybe do Cody in my spot. Ugh, it's going to be weird. I don't even want to listen to it. I'm done. I'm out. Bye. That was me walking out. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, you're still here. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Cool. Well, anyway, anyway. Let's uh, move on. Super Bowl news again. Done. That's it. Done. 
But then we got a few little uh, uh, little treats afterward. It's like, yeah, dude, the trailers like started with the Super Bowl and then they just kept on coming. Because mm-hmm. then Iron, we got Iron Fist, man, dude. Uh, so Iron Fist came out. Um, I'm dude. That March seventeenth is that when it comes out? Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. March, man. We even talked about this like at the end of the, the tail end of last year. Um, March is going to be the month to just everything is coming out dude it's it's like the beginning yeah. and then just the rest of the year is just dude peppered with amazingness that was not the sign for peppering i know that was your hand, the like, hand motion you were doing was definitely not the hand motion peppering. was like throwing petals on the <laughs> on, okay. so, on someone right. <laughs> oh what you know Okay, I mean, if that's never, what you, yeah, throwing pedals. Let's go with that. That works. Yeah, it's fun. the other one is just <laughs> it's not the same. <laughs> Nor when you do that motion oh, does it yeah. mean things are yeah. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Moving John. on. <laughs> I'm glad we're having so much visual comedy here on this podcast. Uh, <laughs> we'll leave it up to people's imagination. Yeah. But yes, Iron Fist looks amazing. <laughs> Uh, dude, that I was not expecting a trailer for it. I mean, even with what they've given to us already, like with the first trailer they had, I, I mean, I guess it's not fully expected. Like nowadays, I think it's one of the other things that's becoming more popular is actual trailers for TV shows. You know, because before, mm-hmm. I mean, especially with network television, like there wasn't trailers. They would give you like all oh, little clips, and you'd have the weird voiceover guy who was like. In a world. Thursdays, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, coming to you Thursdays on, like, blah, blah, blah station. Oh, yeah. You know, and and that's all it really was. And now with full-on trailers for TV shows, like, it, it's kind of cool. Like, and, and I can so get into that so easily because when there's ones like this that totally sell me on everything, dude, it looks it looks cool, man. I love that it gives you a lot more story. It gives you a lot more background. It kind of lets you... Or it sets up for what everything is going to be uh, a lot more than just, like, a TV spot for a TV show would do. Uh, but, dude, I don't know, man. What do you think? Netflix, man, they just have their shit together. Dude. Like they're, they, they are putting out so much. And right now, Netflix is putting out a lot of quantity. But I'm oh, saying dude. some of the yeah. quality hasn't been amazing. Yeah. But as far as the stuff that we've been interested in and we like to talk about in view, like Santa Corita... The oh, which we haven't talked about yet, but we will. Yeah. Um, uh, Iron Fist, the the whole of uh, Defenders type uh, shows that are coming out. Yeah. Um, Stranger Things, like damn it, like like they really they're really doing a great job with that. So um, I'm excited to see what else they have coming out. But of course, Iron Fist is the final Defender, like it says in the trailer. Who's yeah? Who's making his parents known? And damn it, man, it just looks awesome. I think one of the things that I like about it is that it seems like it's going to be a team of them, you know, so it's not just Iron Fist. Like, there's going to be a few of them in there. Mm-hmm. And I think that's one of the things that's been missing from the uh, from the Netflix shows because Daredevil is, is awesome, right? Mm-hmm. Like, the fighting sequences have been really cool in that, but all those fighting sequences have been just, like, uh, like him brawling, you know? He's there brawling the whole time. He's, you know, kicking everybody's ass, and... It's really good coordination, really good fight sequences, but it's not full on like what I think this is going to be. Yeah. In that it's, dude, there are trained people who are like ninja quality type stuff. Yeah. Like doing some pretty badass things, uh, like on screen. And and there was some in the second season when Electra came on and they did some of that. But I mean, this looks like it's going to be just slightly better and a slight step up from that. And dude, I'm so down for that, dude. It looks freaking cool. Yeah, man. Um, the story seems interesting. I don't know much about the original story, but it seems like it is just going to be him coming back from wherever he's been for the past 15 years. Yeah. Um, so he's been gone. It looks like he was part of a plane crash. And did you just say where was where he where the plane crashed? Um, I think it did in the trailer. I can't remember. For sure. Yeah. It sounds like it's somewhere in Asia, and that's why he gets martial arts <laughs> training. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> But, um, uh, yeah, man, like, he just ends up doing, like, ends up training like that and then ends up coming back because he needs to save the company that, I guess, was his parents' company when all this went down. Yeah. Dude, I'm really, I'm really pumped for this. Like, I'm really excited. I can't wait till it comes out. Tale is um, old as time, similar to the way Bruce Wayne came back and took back his company <laughs> from the board. That's kind of kind <laughs> But in this one, they all think he's dead. Yeah. 
Unlike that one where they just knew he was a Playboy billionaire. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know, man. I, I, it's It looks cool. I, I'm just excited they dropped the trailer. Um, that's been fun to watch. I've kind of rewatched the trailer too many times now. So I'm trying to stay away from it now <laughs> so I can get like a better experience when it comes actually uh, – or when it comes up on the 17th. So, dude, man, so many things. I'm going to have like no time at all to do anything. Nope. If I really want to consume all this stuff. Dude, other one, first time trailer ever coming out. Oh, yeah. So that would, dude, there's so much Lego stuff happening. Right? And, you know, I didn't even check the last update for uh, Force Awakens, the Lego the Lego one. Oh, you haven't played it yet. I haven't played it yet. Dude. That's pretty legit? Yes. What's the story? Um, there's a few of them. There's a, uh, no, I can't remember them all. I can't list them off the top of my head like that. You can't put me under pressure. I'm sorry. And it's been a little while now. Played? Uh, I don't even remember, man. John can't remember, but it's there's a lot, while. and they're awesome. <laughs> I mean, but the, yeah, they, I mean, they just came out with a whole new like set of stuff to download and play. So, I mean, that's cool. Like, but I don't, dude. The Lego movies, the way they look, is really similar because they're all like real life Lego pieces. Yeah. Um, or it makes it look like they're like real life Lego pieces. Um, and the comedy is super similar as well. So I'm, I'm, even though this looks cool. And, like, I don't know, I never played with Ninja Go Legos, but, like, it, it looks cool. It looks like it'd be, it'd be fun. Um, but I, I don't know. I guess I don't want it to feel the exact same way as the other ones did. I don't think so, man. And, the, and I think you won't like this one. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Like, it, it's going to be a different feel. I, I feel like it, it's going to be a little bit different from what you're used to and the people in it. I don't think they're gonna like. It. Really, but I I dig the cast. You don't. You don't. You don't. Oh, like really? The cast. Who's the cast? Um, well, I mean, one of the main ones, of course, Jackie Chan. You can hear his voice in there. Uh, Dave Franco, J- uh, James Franco's little brother. Yeah, he, he was in Neighbors. He was. Uh, yeah, that's fine. What's wrong with him? Uh, Kumail Nanjiani. Do you know him? Yeah. He, you okay? He's okay. Yeah. Fred Armiston. Uh, do you like Fred Armiston? It seems like I like more of the people in here than you do. What What, what about Olivia Munn? Oh, yeah, that's the person okay. I don't like. <laughs> I think I was just going off that. Olivia Munn is like one of the main voices that they have in here. So if you can. That might not be bad if she does a good job. Like if they have a good director and somebody who's really, you know, doing the right thing with mm-hmm. her and your character, that might not be too bad. Okay. Okay. We're, we're going to find out. We're going to see what's going on. You know, you don't have to see her pose a whole bunch of different ways in this one. Do you. I don't have to see her try to act. I think yeah. that's the biggest thing. <laughs> she always looks like she just has like a very solid plasticky face. Mm. Like, I don't know, man. Like, just the way she acts and tries to do things, it does not work for me. But maybe voice acting is her thing. Maybe this will be a lot better. Maybe. Who knows? Anyway, I'm ex- I do, it looks cool, man. Like, I like the rest of the people in that a lot. I think Fred Armisen is freaking hilarious. Oh, dude. I know. I can't do wait. You, do you ever watch, uh, I know this is pretty on late at night. No, not Portlandia. Portlandia is cool in small doses. Okay. My yeah. small doses, I don't even mean a full episode. I can watch like skits at like a time. Like a couple skits? Yeah. yeah. Like that's, and that's about all I can do. So I never watch the show because I can't, I, it's too much. But um, on a late, late night, what is it called? Um, with uh, Seth Myers. Mm-hmm. The one that comes on after Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. On NBC mm-hmm. every weeknight. Because Fred Armisen is the drummer for the band. Or I think he just plays a bunch of different instruments. He's part of the band. Mm. Like, uh, but not all the time, I'm assuming, because he's going and filming like things like Portlandia or maybe this or, or stuff like yeah. that. So he's not always on there. But when he is on there, every once in a while, they'll, they'll do like, they'll just bounce off things. <laughs> like, so he'll be like, Seth Meyers will ask him what he's been doing lately. And then they'll come up with like random ass stuff. And dude, the guy is hilarious. And the whole time, it seems like they're just riffing. Like, it's not a whole lot of scripted stuff. Oh, and, yeah. Dude, it's, it's all so improv. Freaking yeah. funny, man. Like, um, I, and it feels like he could do it with anybody, but the way he plays off of Seth Meyers, like it's just freaking awesome, man. I really, I, I think he's he's comic genius. Maybe not genius, but he's really high. Yeah. He's okay. Close. I was like, genius if is not, really, really. If he's uh, not genius, loose. he's he's pretty damn close. He's pretty because good. he does some he does some really funny stuff. Yeah. But yeah, dude, I don't have any problem with anybody. Okay, maybe besides well. Olivia Munn. It's the okay. only one. Right. I, I can I, see that. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Yeah, I'm just trying to warn you. I, I, man, you know, I, I wish now I really haven't had told you because 
I really wanted you to see it. First. If I would, if I never would have known, I wonder if like I, <laughs> I know. Damn it! You're like, man, that chicken there was so funny. Oh my gosh! And, and then I would have been like, like <gasps> I would have been mortified yeah. if that would have been the case. So now I know. Now I'm looking at the cast. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, damn it! Damn it! That's what happens, Eric. That's what happens when you warn me about things. Yeah, I know. See, I, t- I try to look out for you, and then you throw it right back <laughs> in my face. Dude, the thing that's cool though is like the movie's coming out later this year, dude. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty awesome. It doesn't seem like it should take very long to do it now that they have, since it's, it feels like the same look as the original Lego movie, mm-hmm. uh, doing the Batman movie. So, it, dude, it feels like they could just pump these out like just by getting people to go and do voices for them. Like, they should be able to get movies like this done fairly quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's pretty awesome, man. Like, I, I'm excited. I, I mean, I don't want to get my hopes up too much, and I'm sure it'll go one way or the other after watching the Batman movie, the Lego Batman movie. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, if that one's really good, I'll probably have high expectations for this. If that one's not good, I'll probably go in with a lot more caution. But, um, dude, I'm excited. Yeah, me too, man. I'll watch it. But, again, Lego Batman and the Lego movie that I just can't see myself going to the theater for. But, I mean, uh, I will watch them. Yeah. 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 You better go to the theater. I will. No, I'm saying. Just kidding. <laughs> they just need to find out, like finally do, like, home video rentals. I know. Home movie rentals. Well, you They tried that a little bit, right? They did. There was a few of them. Some of the some of the other stuff that's been coming out have been coming like straight to VOD or, um, you know, rent them uh, rent them while they're still in the movie theater. You know, they yeah. they've been doing a good job on that on on some of some of the properties, but I think it's still going to take some time. Well, I know part of it was that they really want to charge a lot more money than what it is for like regular movie rentals on yeah, on and even video even like sixteen bucks. I'm not I'm. I'm okay with paying that because that's pretty much the amount I would have paid if I would have went to the movie theater and saw right. it. And then I yeah. get to have it for 48 hours and watch it numerous times possibly. Yeah. So I'm okay with that. For me, I'm still a little a little while away. I need like a really big 4K TV uh, and with a good streaming service that will do 4K video rentals like that. And then I'll be sold on doing it. Mm. But I think until that day comes, like well, I'll we've got a couple go of people have that have uh, donated their homes and screens for TV watching viewing, <laughs> uh, somebody just got a new oven. I heard, that, oh, really? uh, and they wanted to bake for us as well. Well, yeah. while we watch some uh, some goodness on a, on a projector, I feel. If that invitation's still out there, that's nice. We also have a large 4K 3D. Uh, enable TV that we can also go view. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm throwing these items out there, and I, yeah. and I know the people that are listening know who I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're so it's like <laughs> self invites over to the yeah. houses. <laughs> <laughs> so we look forward to that coming soon. Yeah, uh, especially with the Doctor Strange 3D Blu-ray coming out. Yeah, so it's coming out uh, February 14th. Yep, yep. Valentine's Day. I might be doing that love. Valentine's Day night. Just watching that movie. Yeah, at home, Brand. away from all the crowds. <laughs> Brandy, so no surprises. You know what's going to happen. No. We never do anything on Valentine's Day. Like, the last time we did it, we've been married for, like, this will be our 12th Valentine's Day married, but 13th overall. And we've done things on Valentine's Day maybe Whoa, once or come twice. On. Come on. Man. Not those kind of things, Eric. Yeah. I'm not, like, going out or hanging out or doing something outside of the house. Because other than that, we've just been like, this is, it's too much. We've tried to go, go out before, and it's, like, long lines or waiting or have to, like, book reservations. And even then, you don't necessarily get the time you're guaranteed, yeah. quote, unquote, guaranteed. Right, um, right. And, dude, yeah. So maybe just Doctor Strange at home. Oh, we can talk about the extras. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Who knows, two, man? That's two awesome. Birds. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, cool, man. Um, outside the trailer now. Let's talk about this mashup, dude. I know that that came out of nowhere. That was pretty cool. So Beauty and the Beast, or Beauty and Voldemort, we should say. Mm-hmm. Um, mashup video where they put, they took the Beauty and the Beast trailer and inserted Voldemort and in all the places where the beast should exist. Yes. Uh, Kind of interesting, man. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, it looks really good. <laughs> really, really well edited. Uh, someone Really, uh, really well edited. Someone's, uh, it was a labor of love that somebody put this together. Yeah. And, and recut. Well, it was not only Voldemort in with the latest Beauty and the Beast trader, but also some other scenes from, was it, was it uh, uh, Lord of the Rings also? I feel like Fly You Fools was in there. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I wasn't so, paying that close of attention. Maybe oh, I man. missed it. Okay. Um, but, yeah, that that looks like it's going to be the next. 
just <laughs> I, I don't know. It, it's just really well cut together, I think. And, it's, and, and it, it's not. And it's not. It doesn't really mean anything to anybody else. I just thought it was interesting and funny. Yeah, it was cool. Like, yeah. I mean, the link's gonna be in our description just because. Somebody put a heck of a long time into doing yeah. this, like what it seems like. Um, so I think people should watch it. It's pretty awesome. Um, but just real quick, thought we'd drop it in there. Yeah. Just wanted to mention it. All right, cool. Well, let's move on, man. What else you got? Um, okay, so this is something I kind of came across just looking for some alien news. You know, uh, there's been so much out there, and I've been, I really wanted to like see Neil Blomkamp's uh, version of Alien as you know as that's coming out and now that really Scott is doing the uh, Covenant Covenant yeah movie coming out it, it seems like more and more likely that Neil Blomkamp so he did um, District Nine and Elysium and what's that one with the not the robot Chappie there you go oh okay yeah yeah, yeah. Um, he was also gonna do a take on aliens and which I thought was going to be amazing. There was some um, original art that was put out for it. And man, it just seems like that's going like by the wayside. So while I was looking for, for some more information about that, I came across some information from aliencovenant.com. I put the article in our, in our description and they were pretty much saying that the alien V predators movie are going to seems like they're going to be Canon in the alien series. Yeah. So it's going to be like Alien, Aliens. Um, I think they're going to skip Alien 3. I don't know if that's part of canon or Resurrection. It's one of the two that's not part of canon. Probably Resurrection. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, that one seems the one I think it's a little more out there. Yeah. And then both Alien versus Predator movies being part of that, uh, being part of the canon for, uh, for the whole Alien series. So they have like a... A website that you can go to that's a pretty much like a, a reimagining of mother uh which was the interface that that they dealt with or they they handled in um in the original alien movie so if you go to alienmovies.com you can kind of see this interfa- interface so you can have it search certain things you, you know and it has kind of like the same interaction but when you put in uh, like predator like the word predator like it's it says like you don't have enough clearance to view this information. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, and then when you put in the word, uh, I can't even say it. It's like a tuja, <laughs> <laughs> which is like uh, another word for the predator uh, species name. And okay. again, it says classified information. So, like with these two bits of information, it's pretty much making the assumption that the predators are part of like the whole alien canon. Series. Yeah. So that's pretty cool, man. I mean, it's cool. It's like two different franchises that I think have a similar feel for things, mm-hmm. and it just seems to work. Yeah. So that's pretty awesome, man. I need to watch Predators, right? That's the one that people yeah. were like really surprised at. It's one of those hidden gems. I've never seen it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a good take. Um, it's it's different. Like it's a planet of pre- like it's Earth dropping criminals on a predator planet instead of like the other way around like predators coming to earth and hunting right. yeah and it's just basically a bunch of people who you seem that are like assholes pretty much yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that are led by adrian brody right yeah and yeah <laughs> we used to make fun of this guy when i worked at the bar because he absolutely was like man he's like man adrian brody man he got really ripped like he just kept talking about like how ripped he was yeah. <laughs> and so we just like took a whole bunch of pictures and like put them around like in his register and like when he take <laughs> bottles out like it'd be pictures of adrian brody underneath like all ripped and everything it's awesome uh <laughs> oh my goodness it's uh, awesome. a little bar humor um yeah. but yeah so good stuff Good stuff, but yeah, man, um, I think it's cool. Like that, they, they're really trying to tie these series together. Yeah, um, even more so than they're now. I mean, the fact that you have books, movies, like it's really right. like it's it just solidifies everything, and then everybody's kind of coming together with it. So I'm yeah. excited about it. It looks cool. Yeah, dude. I, yeah, look, if there's some good movies that come out of it, like I, it's cool, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't really care one way or the other. Like if they're connected, if they're not, mm-hmm. big deal. Like 
that's not going to impact my life all that much. Yeah. <laughs> other than the fact that maybe I get to watch some good movies. So yeah, like that, that I'm, I'm a hundred percent for. So yeah. hopefully that's what it leads to. Hopefully that's what comes out of this. But yeah, man, like that, I don't, I don't have any problem with that at all. Cool. So let's see what happens. Let's wait well, and see. Well, right now, man, uh, some of the last things I want to cover today, and I know you do too, were some of the things that, man, powered through this past week. <laughs> Dude. Well, there's been a lot of TV, man. Like, I know uh, there, I, I haven't had a chance to go see uh, The Space Between Us, but it's going to oh, be yeah. released some really harsh reviews. And I don't know if it's really? just really warranted or what, but I still want to watch it. But, I, I mean, I might wait a little bit with how the reviews are coming out for it. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. If I get a chance to, I just haven't had time to go do it. Um, yeah. So we'll see, man. Maybe it'll be something. Maybe I'll get to mention it here sometime soon. Um, okay. But well, well, dude, you TV checked out man. something um, recently that I didn't get a check a chance to check out, and I totally forgot about Powerless, man. Yes. How was it? Ah. Uh, oh, okay. Your hesitation doesn't <laughs> <laughs> doesn't excite me at all. I gotta be honest. Okay, the first because I only watched the first episode. I think that's all there is out right now. Yeah. I think the. Second episode should be airing this week sometime. Okay. Um, I know I'll catch it on Hulu. That's how I usually watch them. So mm-hmm. um, it might be waiting for me right now. I don't I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, it was really rough, dude. It was a rough first episode. It really seemed like a pilot episode, like a true pilot episode where I think characters are trying to find their footing. They're still trying to find out how the show is going to work. Um, maybe this was a true pilot where – you know, they're just going – went ahead and aired the pilot they mm-hmm. used to get the show created and, and get the go-ahead for it. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that that happens a lot. Uh, but, like, the stuff that does happen that way, like the first season of The Office or um, first season of Parks and Rec, that was – Oh, yeah. That was rough. Like, until you get into the characters and who everybody is, it's, like, hard to hard to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, it's, I think it's introducing a, a new take on things. I know Marvel was trying to do the same thing with – the like like powerless but not a comedy it was going to be like a cleanup crew of yeah like the wreckages uh, after mm, um, gotcha yes uh, uh, ultron attacked and after yeah. you know i thought it was going to be like a more serious take or i don't know but maybe, maybe. this is this is maybe dc's kind of response to that or beat them to the punch essentially yeah. um yeah but i mean are, are there like very sitcommy though you yeah. know like, was it like audience like laughing in no. the background? Okay. No, 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 no. So yeah, like uh, it still had the, the, I guess more like real world type of feel, like mm-hmm. because it's not you know quote unquote filmed in front of a studio audience. Yeah. Um, but it just had a lot of those moments where, ah, uh, dude, and I think it's older TV that does this a lot, where it's like you're they kind of try to I guess like paint by number, uh-huh. you know? Oh, you got to have a moment of like everybody being down and you got to have a moment of everybody like coming back and you got to mm-hmm. have like a heartfelt moment and then you got to have like a resolution yeah. and it was like, dude, it was so old school TV that, that I think that's what yeah. made it hard to watch. Well, so, I mean, it's on, isn't it on, what is it on? It's on NBC. I believe. NBC? Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't, I don't see them having, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they, they're Look, just trying to play it safe because of yes. because of the material. Yeah, and and that might be it. And there's a lot of shows on NBC that I really like that follow that format. You know, that follow that kind of, you know, okay, paint by numbers. Like this is how an episode is supposed to go. But for this type of show and the material they're covering, it just didn't feel appropriate. Um, and who knows, man? Maybe I might be proven wrong. I'm gonna give it a chance. It's only one episode, so I'll, I know I'll watch at least the next two. Like, at the very least. And then we'll see what happens from there. But the first one didn't give me a whole lot of confidence in what the rest of the show can be like. Um, and I do – I love Alan Tudyk, but his character was so one-dimensional. Oh. And it feels like it's going to be trapped in that, like, the entire time. And um, and I think some of the other characters, too. The other characters weren't super interesting or nobody really captured my attention. Even the main character played by uh, – was her name Vanessa Hudgens? Oh, really? Um, huh. You know, it was just – yeah, just – it didn't really – do anything to get my attention and grab my attention and be like, oh, I really care about this person and what they're going to do. And, and who care about none be. of y'all. None. Nobody. Damn. No Fs were given. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Well, did you give at least a few Fs for Voltron Season 2? Dude, that one was the complete opposite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, cool. Like, so you watched the whole season for the first one? Or you no. still haven't even watched the first season? There, There is this episode that I'm stuck on that I can't get past. Do you keep falling asleep? No, oh. not that. It's just that I just haven't been able to get back to it. Okay. So episode two 
Are, are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> Eric, they're not all an hour long. I know they're not. <laughs> it's just that first one was so long. <laughs> they're closer to like 20 minutes a pop. I know. And it's really hard for me to watch cartoons that are not Sophia the First or Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. <sighs> So, you know, I'm trying. You need to get that little girl out of that habit, man. I know. This is this is how it happens. I know. You sit her down and you make her watch this. No, just kidding. Um, I know. Well, I'm, I'm, I wanted to start with the Batman animated series first because those are just good stories. But <laughs> Maybe you can watch this. It's got a lot more bright colors and yeah, that's, a lot of oh, things yeah, happening. There's a lot of true. flash going on. So, uh, uh. <laughs> nice yeah. um uh, but yeah dude uh voltron season two dude it feels like it's better than the first i haven't finished it all yet um trying to get through it but dude really good man like i really i've been enjoying it uh it has a lot of uh i guess kind of uh i don't even know how to say it. the episodes move the episodes give you a good story every episode Okay. Um, so, and they are very episodic, like something different happens. They do have an overall story arc that they're covering, but the things that happen in, in each episode is a really nice, complete story. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's a fun, complete, like get things done story. And I, I really, really like that. Is there like a, like a big baddie every episode or is um, it like, no, like minor baddies and they're still oh, okay. all just fighting, uh, the and they're making their baddie. way to like the boss. <laughs> well, yeah. no, we're like right now they're running away from the boss. Oh, okay. That's what they're trying to do, like figure out a way to like so that he's not chasing them constantly. Right um, so that way they can get in an upper hand at one point or another. So as le- at least as far as I've gotten. Um, so, but yeah, man, it's really really cool. Like I- I've just really in- been enjoying it, dude. Dude, you know that's so funny. That reminds me. Just thinking about that is there's been oh, and I got to find it. And you know what? I'm not even going to put it in here. Maybe I will. <laughs> I don't know. We'll talk about it. We'll see yeah. what happens. But basically, there's a picture of Jason Momoa that's going out there. When he was recently on one of the late shows, yeah. But when he was walking in, he had two bodyguards with him, and there were two Russian bodyguards. Really? And yeah. Th- but they are tiny. Like <laughs> they go to like his shoulders, and but they're like dressed up. They look super hard. Yeah. Like like <laughs> like they they're just like like super rough guys, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and like some of the comments, like the like Twitter's been making about that picture, have been amazing. I think it was Dude. one that was like, man, I wish I could grow up and be so ripped that my bodyguards look like two mini bosses you have to fight to get to me. <laughs> like. <laughs> It's amazing, That's man. Awesome. I gotta find that picture. Uh, yeah, you better throw it in the description now that you mentioned now I it. Have to. Now you gotta do some work. Uh, yeah. That's what happens. Anyway, that was Voltron. Yeah. And Powerless. Uh Dude, Legion. Uh, um Or do you want to talk about Santa Clarita Diet first? Let's talk about Santa Clarita Diet first. Alright, let's do it. Dude, and this is the one that uh I was telling Jonathan on Tuesday. I've only watched a couple episodes, and he's like, come on. Like, it, you know, it, you had the weekend. It came out on Friday. You know, we should be able to power through some of this. And and I only watched two. But last night, before recording, <laughs> I powered through and watched another six episodes. And Jeez. I was like, ugh. But it was, Dude. damn it, they, they were just so good, man. Like, the show is just done really well. Like, yeah. I was I had my hesitations, like, after the first episode of being like, where can they go with this? Like, how can this be done? But it was it was done so good. The yeah. jokes are, like, really quippy. And it's just, like, like it looks like they're having a fun time with it. It's just really done well, man. Like, yeah. I, I really, really enjoy the show. And I'm not done with the season. I got, like, one and a half episodes left. But damn it, like it's been done really, really good. Yeah, man. Like I, I, I after the first episode too, I was it was kind of rough. It felt a lot like that, kind of like you know, same feeling from Powerless, where it was a little rough around the edges, mm-hmm. and it seemed like characters were trying to find their footing and who everyone was going to be and what they were going to do and what the show was going to be about. But man, it picks up speed super, super quick. I think by like the second or third episode, which I and I haven't gone very far, maybe like the fourth episode. Mm-hmm. Um, but man, like it picked up speed super fast, and I can't wait to like finish the rest of the series because it's really good. Yeah, dude. And it, you were like warning me about how gruesome it is, and I didn't think it was at all. I know. I thought it was going to be a little bit more gruesome. Like I didn't know if you were going to be able to handle it. Like no, nah, uh, man. Walking Dead has done things ten times worse. That's true. At any point in time. Well, that's true too. Yeah, this wasn't bad. It's kind of funny. It's really funny. It's actually pretty damn it's funny. It's really damn funny. Like, I, I just can't, I don't think, like, there's a, it's just really different, and and they've really taken a, like, a like a, a different feel to it, and, and, and I I don't know, if if you're into, like, the, the zombie kind of 
zombies that John zombie zombie genre <laughs> zombie drama zombie genre can, uh, you can do it it's okay if zombie, we stop kissing them pixies you'd be fine I hate your guts so much <laughs> uh, um yeah <laughs> I'm not even I'm zombie done. genre. If you like the zombie genre there at all, <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. It. You know what, too, man? Like the, the first episode sounded a lot like they were reading from a script. It did. Like yeah. it, it just everything felt so like it didn't flow. Uh, so if you watch this, just man, you just kind of have get to bear the it with the first get through episode. the first episode. Yeah, yeah. The first episode is is the hardest to watch for sure, and then it starts to flow really, really nicely. Like they they find who their characters are, they find the voice of their character, and man, it just starts. It gets really good really quick. Yeah. Um. Anyway, awesome. Yeah, there's some really there's some really good moments. I don't want to give like spoilers away right now, but yeah. Um, I think people should definitely check it out. It's definitely one that I would recommend to go check out. Absolutely. Dude. So, and the thing that um, came out last night, I mean, we talk about Fox and, like, how they're doing terrible jobs with the whole Marvel Universe and yeah. what are they doing and just give most of their properties back to, to Marvel so they can do it right. Uh, and then they come up with a show like Legion. Dude. Which was amazing, dude. It was pretty good, man. Yeah. And that's tough for me to say. You know how I feel about Fox and what they've yeah. done with the X-Men. I know. I um, know. It wasn't perfect. But I think they they got the character mostly right. Yeah, they they really. If you haven't seen the episode yet, the first episode of the series dropped yesterday. Uh, yesterday being Wednesday, February eighth, uh, for us a few days earlier than when the show comes out. But you know yeah. what I mean. <laughs> um, it it really is a tale of. Similar to Wade Split was uh, a character who has DID, which is. Um, oh Disassociative God. identity disorder. There you go. You nailed it. I nailed it the first time. <laughs> you nailed it the second time. There we go. Sloppy well, that's yeah. Thanks, man. Uh-huh. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Shut up, John. <laughs> All right, we need to wrap it up. It's getting it's getting late. Um, <laughs> you're getting. You're, you're, <laughs> You're getting uncontrollable. Um, <laughs> Me? Yes, you. All right. Um, Legion, uh, it, it really does get you into his mindset of how he's just all over the place. Like, his ideas and his thoughts, and it really does show you from his point of view of how, you know, none of this. Like, he's just getting bits and pieces. He doesn't know what's real, what's not real. He doesn't know memories from from now. Like, he just... Like he's just trying to piece it all together, and it seems like somebody's on to him, and that's kind of like where the first episode is lead has led into, and all the promotions yeah. and everything that they have has all been out of that first episode, yeah. which was, is amazing. I was, I was really like, surprised by that. Yeah, because I was like, oh man, like that was all here. Like yeah. where, like, uh, like where's it gonna go? Yes, I almost wanted to give like I, I almost at the end of the episode I almost stood up and gave it a standing ovation. Whoa, <laughs> like, <laughs> just because I mean like the little stuff that they got right, you know, like the like just that. Um, they didn't give away anything major in the promotions. Like all of it has been from that first episode, um, which is kind of crazy. Uh, they, uh, the characters in there, I think are, are really well done. Mm-hmm. Uh, who he is and how they portray his, his DID, uh, really awesome. But they've had some really great examples lately of how to do that kind of stuff and, mm-hmm. and how to do those cuts and sequences. And it kind of puts you in that mindset. Um, damn it. What was the thing? We've talked about something on here. That they do the exact same thing. It makes you feel like you are crazy at the same time. Damn it, I can't remember it. I'm not going to go re-listen to all of our episodes. Yeah, to <laughs> remember what that was. Um, but they, yeah, they, they do it, and they've had, that was a good example. They, a great example of a, is another one that I can think of is a Mr. Robot. Oh, like yeah. there was some similar type things that happened on this that were the same there. But yeah, they man, they like people have paved the road for this to be good, and, yeah. and how to do it so that it is good. One of the things I was really worried about, and, and this is a light spoiler, so I'm, I'm sorry if you don't want any spoilers going into it. You yeah. Maybe you want to stop here. But uh, I was afraid they wouldn't do some of the characters that are in his head the way they are in his head, like actually in real life. I was, I was afraid of that because some of the characters in his head are absolutely ridiculous. Like they, Not only are they different in personality, but they look very awkward. 
Yeah. And I mean, since you saw it, Eric, you, mm-hmm. you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, yes. I was like, dude, that it looks like something like out of the comics of what it looks like in his head. I was like, yeah. that's so freaking awesome. Yeah. The one thing that, that I really, oh, man, I just, I wanted it so bad. And I think it's just me wanting this to happen and it didn't happen. And mm-hmm. so it was a slight disappointment, but totally understand, like, I need to just get over it. But the fact that they didn't give him a Scottish accent. Like, yeah, man. Um, you talked about kilts today. You want <sighs> Scottish accent, dude. His name is David you, Waller. Like, just, you know, I know you have an infatuation with the with the Green Isle. That's totally fine. I mean, a you got to place. I wonder if they're gonna go with the. Whole, I wonder how true they're gonna stay. Yeah. Like, are they gonna continue with Moira? Are they gonna mention Professor X at all? Yeah. Are they gonna? Um, because when he becomes Legion is when mm-hmm. he gets all of his identities into one, correct? No. Or, like, he's able to combine some of the identities? I mean, he's just... he's already Legion. Yeah. Like, the whole, the whole the premise of Legion is that he just has a ton of personalities within him. And, like, and that's all of it really them is. has, like, a different mutant skill set. Yes. So, it, like, it's almost like you can only manifest those particular skills when that personality has taken control. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, but that's, it's a great concept for them to play off of, and, and that'll mm-hmm. be awesome for them to do it. And it's a little frustrating with the first episode because I know that from the comics, and mm-hmm. I know what happens and how it works for him, and mm-hmm. they haven't done it yet in the TV show. But it feels like they are going to do it, and they will do it right. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that that does happen. But I feel like, it, like it's like going to take a little if bit. If you don't know about Legion and his backstory, you will be very confused by the first episode. I yeah, think. oh, probably. But it's a damn good episode, even then. Yeah. Like, it's really good. Ends with a good action beat, and that yeah. ending scene is pretty damn amazing um, going through. So I'm, I'm interested to see how they're going to take it. Yeah. Like it's, it, it looks like it's going to be a good watch. Uh, the first episode was an hour and a half, so uh, I think the next one should be like an hour long. So. It'll, it'll probably be an hour long episode. Yeah. Um, I really hope they give him a spiky hair. That would be awesome. He's yeah, got like they, a they mile te- high, like high top in the comics. <laughs> yeah, they, they kind of tease that in the in the uh, promo, um, the the promo of it, like because yeah. the like oh, all yeah, of yeah. his like ideas and they are like a big like cloud of like uh, multicolored smoke, but uh, coming out of his head, and it kind of looks like the uh, the flat top that he has in the comics. So yeah. But like the really huge one. The really huge the one. Really huge one. Yeah. So I mean, it's cool. Like, and and, it, and it's nice because it's it's a character who's like pocketed enough. Like he's not really always in the main line of X Men comics and things like that. I mean, even though he's had his own like series, mm-hmm. I feel like they can easily take him out of the rest of continuity, put him in his own story, and make his own little pocket bubble here for it. Um, it'd be nice to see some of the other things happen. So, I mean, even if it is a different continuity, but he still is like, you know, son of Professor X, um, you know, Deborah Waller's mom, if he hangs out with Moira, like awesome. Like that would mm-hmm. all be really, really cool. And it'd be nice for them to do it, but doesn't necessarily have to happen, even though I really hope it does. But yeah, man, they don't have to be a main part of the story. You just mention him. Say they're there. Yeah, I was looking for some more tidbits or something, um, kind of like to to hint toward a larger universe. Yeah, but couldn't quite figure it out. Yeah. So, I mean, who knows, man? I'm 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 ready to play this one episode by episode, man. It looks it looks fun. It looks cool. I wonder, do you think that that yellow eyed devil creature that they keep? Who do you think that is? I have no idea. Who did you just read that it is? No. Well. Oh. I don't even want to know. I don't know. It makes sense that it's this character because it's the only one that kind of it makes sense. Are you going to give spoilers or what? Let's do a spoiler. Go ahead. Spoilers. Okay. If you don't want to know, cut out now. Cut it out now. People say it's the Shadow King or because of what he actually looks like, be Mojo. Do you remember Mojo? Yeah. I don't know if Mojo would be. He just kind of looks like him. Yeah. So. Shadow King would be really interesting though. Um, I put the link to the article here where we're uh, we're just reading that information from. So it's from Polygon. If you want to read more information about it, definitely high spoilers, dude. I think that's it, man. We talked yeah. so much today. It's gonna I, be a long episode again. I can feel it. Uh, I feel it too, man. All right, we're working we're the nice group find us now. So cool. Well, if you want to come back for another week and enjoy some more time with us, come back next week. We'll be here, same place you found us. If you want to find us somewhere else. Wigs is on soundcloud.com slash Kenobi's Dash Corner. Uh, 
We're on iTunes under the podcast section. You can find us uh, as Kenobi's Corner. We're in the same place at the Google Play Store in the podcast section there. And we are Kenobi's Corner on Twitter. So at Kenobi's Corner, um, definitely hit us up there if you have any comments, uh, questions, want us to talk about a certain subject, uh, want us not to talk about a certain subject, let us know. Hit us up and, and either drop us a comment in one of the places that you can find us or hit us up on Twitter. We'll be happy to talk to you there. Uh, and that's about it. Well, cool. Well, until that time... Especially over the next Valentine's Day. Be sure to love yourself and each other. Aww. Aww.